This is a kerosene lamp. What my mother used to use way back in the days, you know, to see, to go to bed, to plot, to do other stuff with because there wasn't no electricity when I was growing up. No electricity at all. You had to use a kerosene lamp. At first, they would take this off, fill it with kerosene oil, put it back on like this, put the wick in, screw it back on like this, turn the wick up and light it. Make sure it's not smoking, make sure it's even and level. And then they would put this clean the shade you know, with a piece of cloth. And then they would rest it back on. If the mother say, well, Jane, out the lamp, she would go. And everyone would say, good night, mommy. This lantern here is similar to the lamp. What they will do, they will screw this off, put the kerosene in here, take this up and light the wick, put it back down, make sure it's even, it doesn't smoke. And they would use this for crabbing in the night, also in the night too, to see, in the house, this would be the light. This is an old singer machine, way back in the 60s before I was born. They used to use this to sew the basket on. This was a foot pedal for the sewing machine. And it's called Singer. This is a hopper, what they used to use to pump the oil in from the drummer. Come to the shop, one gallon of kerosene oil. So the pump would go in here and you would pump the oil in here. And when it's full, you take it off and you put a cover and you take it home to your parents. You better don't waste it because you'll be in trouble. When we were growing up, we had no flush toilet. So we had to use this. This is a slub bucket. This is a face pan. This can be used to wash your face in or wash your hair in. Fill it up with water and wash your hair. Wash your hair with zest soap. In those days, no shampoo, so you had to wash your hair with zest soap. This is a grass pillar. This make out a big grass from the beach. And you would put it on the old before time bed to lay on a Fix it, you would fix it real good so, so two children can lay their head on it like this. And sleep at night. This, this is an iron, old antique iron, what they used to use way back in the days, in the 50s, in the 40s, before my time. They would catch a fire, put it on, let it heat, take it up, and they would use a vox that come off the beach and then they would rub it like this. Then they would take a brown piece of paper and clean it. And after it's already clean, they would iron the clothes. This is a mill, what they used to grind the corn in. Way back in the days, before my time, what they would do, they would put the hopper on, put a basket on, make sure it's set right. Right underneath, the mouth the, right underneath the mouth of the mill. They would put the corn in here and they would take right and left hand. Keep grinding it over like that until it comes fine. And if your two hand is tired, you take one hand. And if the one hand is tired, you get another person, your brother or your sister, whoever. And you start to grind it. And you count, how much stroke? One, two, three, four, five. If you're tired going right, left, you go backward. This is naked wood. You boil this for tea. It's a good herbal tea, naked wood. And I also went and got this plant this morning. This is called broom bush. It's also good for tea too. It's a herbal tea. It's called broom bush. This is the coconut. I chop it open. And now I'm going to use the olden days old hickory knife to take it out. I would take this piece of coconut and grate it to make the tart. This grater, I borrowed it from Sarah Roll in Coitage. She said it's an old, old, old grater. This grater was made out of the iron can, lard can. And the hole was punched with a nail in it. So I would hold it like this. It's a new model handle.
This is Nika. You use this to make necklace and when we were growing up we rub it in the road and play with it and bind one another with it. This is bay hop. This is a Madeira bark pod. This is conch corn from the conch and this is jacaranda pod and this is the palm tree nut. All this stuff is used to make our native stuff. This is a sea fan to save the crab fat on. This is an olden days soda bottle. It's called Royal Crown. Very, very old. Very old bottle. Hardly anyone in Eczema can find this bottle. This is an old bucket. I got it from my auntie. She put it on the fire, the hot water to wash her feet. But it's still good. It's okay. And this is a paint kettle. It's all clean out. So what I'm going to do here, I got some top string. I just rub it together. Just tie it you know, to make a rope. So I'm going to draw some water to give the goat. Straightening comb they used to use to straighten the hair to make it soft. Because there wasn't no poem in those days. Poem just come around lately. So they would put this in the fire, let it hot, but not that hot. They would take a piece of cloth, rub it off, and they would get you here and straighten it. And what they would use, they would use royal crown grease, which is still exists right now. And if there's no royal crown grease, they would use lard and kerosene oil. You didn't have much pencil, so you had to cut it in half to share it between two child. And then you would sharpen it with a knife because it wasn't no sharpener. This is a Milo Butler book. You would take this book and cut it in half to share between two children. And then they would write your name on it. This basket was made by Naomi Roll out of Strad Manor. She is a straw vendor in Georgetown. You would put the book in here, you would hold it in your hand like this and you would walk to school bare feet if you didn't have the shoes, so you go to school bare feet. You come back home. And when you reach back home, you tell your mother if you had any homework or whatever, she look at your book and she say, child, good job. You don't mess your book up today because child, I can't afford no more until the mail come because it only come once a month. Thanks, Janice. I'm Shavonia Turnquest, Bohemian TV. See you next time.